Hello guys, welcome back to Creative Hours. If you are a new viewer, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon button for new updates. Today, I'm going to show you seven basic homemade craft supplies, which are very easy and inexpensive compared to store bought. And also, I have created one simple mixed media art by using these homemade craft supplies. So stay tuned, keep watching. First one I'm going to make is gesso. For gesso, we need POP powder, glue, paint and little bit of water. Here POP powder we have to take 3 tablespoon. POP powder you will get it in any hardware stores. Approximately under 50 to 60 rupees you will get it per kilo. And now add 3 tablespoon of glue. We have to take in an equal portion. Gesso is used to prime the surfaces, especially canvases, cardboards, MDF board. It is great for smoothing the uneven surfaces. Now add 1 tablespoon of white paint. Gesso can be made in two different colors like white and black. Here I am making white color gesso. If you want black color gesso, you can add the black color paint to this. Now mix it well. Add little bit of water according to our desired consistency. Mix it well. That's it. Our homemade gesso is ready now. Now it's time to test it. Well, this is an 3 mm thickness MDF board which will be there under the cake. You can see this homemade gesso works very well. After use, keep that gesso in an airtight container box to preserve it. And the second one I am going to make is texture piece, which is used to give some nice structure on any kind of a craft projects like mixed media project. Here we have to take three tablespoon of POP powder. For this, I am going to add two tablespoon of glue. You can add little water if required. Now mix it very well so that uh, there should not be any lumps left in the paste. You can see the consistency of the texture paste. Keep that in an airtight container box. Before testing the texture paste, I'll move to my third craft supply which is stencils. To make stencils, you can use this kind of a files or you can use this plastic sheet which you will get it from local stationery shops you can take printouts of the patterns of your choice we have to use pointed cutters to cut the stencils it is also called detail pen knife take half of the file and cut the sheet as per design size Attach this with the help of plaster. Then start cutting. Be very careful while cutting the edges. Like this I have made some more stencils. You can see how beautifully it has came. Now it's time to test the texture paste with the help of our stencils.
place the stencils in the position now add little bit of texture paste on it gently rub the paste all over it like I am doing it now carefully you have to pick it up now I am making random structure with the help of old paint brush you can also use your fingertips to make this uh, structure here I am using one more uh, stencil this is not a planned art I am just randomly doing it I don't know what result I will get uh, after I complete this the next I am going to make is chalk paint here I am using one tablespoon of white art click color for this you need to add 3 by 4 spoon of tablespoon of water and half tablespoon of POP powder now mix it well you can see the consistency of the chalk paint by using this you can create uh, different colors as per your choice as I am doing it now this chalk paint you can use it on your old wooden furnitures or glass bottles or canvases etc this chalk paint gives you matte finish look to your projects I'm just picking my colors randomly and uh, I am painting my art only by using these colors I hope you are getting little bit of knowledge from my video here I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon button to get newly uploaded video notification now let's start painting here I'm using sponge Just remove the excess paint with the help of napkin. It uh, gives you a little natural look. Fifth one I am going to make is Mod Podge. For this I have taken small empty paint bottle. Now add one tablespoon of glue for this. and add one tablespoon of water mix it well that's it our homemade mod podge is ready now it will act as a glue sealer specially used to attach the decoupage napkins here I have uh, just taken color printouts of decoupage designs. You can get it in any craft stores or online. I'll just fix this by using Mod Podge.
next one i am going to make is capture paste for this you need hot water and uh, four to five napkins tissue napkins just tear those and add in the hot water and I'm going to add one more tissue paper to this let this sit for 30 minutes after 30 minutes you have to add these tissues into mixer jar close the lid and then grind it now you have to remove all the excess water from the tissues by pressing it from 5 napkins approximately you will get 2 tablespoon of tissues for this you need to add uh, 3 tablespoon of uh, glue and uh, 5 tablespoon of baby powder close the lid again you have to grind it now this sculpture paste is ready well you can see the consistency of this you can make any color of sculpture paste by adding paint store this in an airtight container box the last one I'm going to make is transparent stickers for this you have to take printout of the letters attach with the plaster cut those into pieces now let's take water you have to just drop those papers into water let it sit for one minute after one minute you just have to rub those paper from the plaster that's it our uh, transparent sticker is ready now let this uh, stickers dry completely once up after it dries then the stickers are ready to fix on your favorite jars as you can see let's continue with our artwork let's see what result i'm going to get it here i'm using tissue paper i'll use my homemade mod pods to attach it Here I am going to use this uh, stencil, I will just apply a little bit of texture paste on it. Well now I am going to use my sculpture paste. Take a little bit of sculpture paste. You have to take flat surface board to create uh, 3D flowers. Here I'll just add little uh, sap green color to, to make a leaf. Mix it well. Here I'm not going to show you in detail how we have to create leaves by using sculpture paste. 
I am just uh, showing the result how this homemade sculpture paste will work. Now I'm going to make petals. For the first time I'm using uh, sculpture paste to make 3D art. I have never used before. Let's see how it's gonna look after I complete this. If you have any suggestions for me to improvise myself, then I'm glad to know about it. So leave your comment in the comment box below. I'll try my best to improvise myself for better quality video. This uh, homemade sculpture paste, I really liked it. Um, for the first time, I have tried, but uh, I got a good result from this. Here, I'm using a bird shape stencil and uh, highlighting leaves with uh, parrot green color and giving golden touch to the flower. Here, you can see the result. Do let me know in the comment box below how was it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon button for new updates. Thank you